Second weekend of the Fall Parade of Homes is almost here. Kella Lance Max Hofer joins us to tell you what to expect from this weekend. Good morning, Max. Good morning, Sophie. Now, there is around 60 houses being showcased in the Fall Parade of Homes. After the success of last weekend, officials are hoping that visitors can find a place that they can call Home Sweet Home. Elena Reinfeld not only grew up in a good home, but with the knowledge on how to build one. So being a builder's daughter, my whole life has been about, you know, finding a cozy place, finding a place to call home. And after many years, she found it, designing them for other people. That's what we get to do for these clients. They get to see something that they're inspired by and decide to build with us, which is always an honor. She does client relations and design for Amdahl Construction. Their new Cherry Lake development is one of two homes submitted in the fall parade of homes. This is an expanded version of a home that we've already built. Reinfeld says that her vision for this home was to highlight the backyard lake and give the owners an eye-opening view. Natural lighting and that huge, those huge windows are really important. Vice Chair of the Parade of Homes, Dusty Rallis, says that he's been impressed with the large amounts of diversity he's seen across houses. We've got from super contemporary to traditional uh, printed tiles, traditional tiles. I mean, it's the whole gamma of style. The homeowners added some, some really fun elements, expanded on a couple areas, and the style's completely different than the other. Rallis goes on to say that after last weekend's showcase, he's hoping it creates a strong foundation for this weekend. Now we've got the consumer that's already seen it, and they're out there like, hey, you got to see these homes. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. And that it might open the door of inspiration for future homeowners. It's just fun. They get to create a space that's only theirs. It's their spot in the world, and you get to help create that. Now the parade goes from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. on Saturday and Sunday. The Sioux Empire Home Builders Association also has rules in place for those with concerns of COVID-19. You can find those rules and the full list of homes under the story at kelloland.com.